In question five, we're provided this graph here and told that the intercepts on the x-axis are at negative two and three. And we're asked to put it into standard form, uh, but we'll notice here that there is uh, that the coefficient of x squared is one. So we can interpret straight away um, that this is going to be um, a little bit less complicated than it could be. We've been given the intercepts here, so it makes sense to use the intercept form. So remember that in general, the uh, intercept form is going to be y equals ax minus p x minus q, where these are the intercepts. However, because we're told in the question that it's just x squared, i.e. the coefficient is uh, 1, we know that the value of a is 1, so we can uh, essentially uh, dismiss that in this instance. So looking at the um, intercepts, if here x is equal to negative 2, the first um, bracket is going to be x plus 2. Um, and the reason for that, remember, that is that uh, if we have x plus 2, we know that that's going to be equal to 0 because it's uh, the, the value of y on the x-intercept is 0. So therefore, if you solve that, x will end up with a value of negative 2, which is what we've got here. But um, uh, somewhat counterintuitively, that means that you have a bracket of uh, x plus 2. So you've got x plus 2 here. And similarly, for a value of 3, you actually end up with a bracket of x minus 3. So this is the expression in intercept form, but we're asked to provide it in standard form. So all you have to do here then uh, is expand that and you end up with uh, x squared minus 3x plus 2x minus 6, which we can therefore simplify to x squared minus x minus 6.